all right guys so we will continue from where we left i gave you a expression which is mentioned here in the question and we were able to draw a logic circuit a combination logic circuit by looking at the expression now if i ask you to make a truth table so how would we do that so i will first of all i will make a truth table here although there is a little less space but i will try to manage or maybe i can draw a new one for you so that otherwise there is very little space So this was our expression and based on that we developed a logic circuit. I will draw the circuit again. All right, guys, so this was our expression, and here is our combination logic circuit. So now we will draw its truth table. So, first thing in the truth table, you have to uh, make columns for the input. How many inputs are here? You can see there are three inputs x, y, and, and z. So, if there are three inputs, I told you there is a formula. To find out how many input combinations would be there so 2 raised to the power n so there are three inputs so n will be replaced by 3 if you solve this so there will be eight possible input combinations so I will draw eight combinations here So I gave you a tip for quickly, quickly filling out the truth table that you for the for the third column, the which is the Z input, you just fill it like 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So there are eight now. And for the Y, you just fill out like 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. And the third one, 
you fill out four zeros and then followed by four ones so that will make up your three uh, input combinations total it will be eight okay now we will not uh, write the final column but we will first break it up the first output is from this nand gate so i will put x dot y inverse here x dot y inverse i will make one column for this and we will see how what output will come here and you can see the there is a not gate here which is dealing with the third input z it is simply inverting it so output of this gate is z inverse so i can make one column for z inverse this will reduce my effort for the final output now the final output you can see is addition of this nand gate plus this not get outputs so it is simply addition of these two things so here i can write the final expression x dot y whole inverse plus z inverse so that will complete my truth table so first of all for filling out this column here which is x dot y whole inverse you need to look at these two inputs x and y okay so a normal and gate when you multiply zero with zero the outcome is zero but here you you have a inverse sign so it means the output will be inverted so it will become one here so i should write one here so it is one for the second scenario again zero dot, dot zero <clears throat> so it will be one again for the third zero into one a normal land gate will give you zero but again here because it is not nand it is not and gate it is nand gate it is actually inversing so here again you will get one for the fourth option again one one for all these options it will be one now i will quickly go down to this option here this is yes rasha you are right 1 dot 1 should be 1 multiply by 1 but because it is inverting so you will get 0 here and for the last case also you will get 0 here filling out z inverse is very easy wherever is 0 you just write 1 in that place and wherever there is 1 you just write 0 in that place so i will quickly fill this out okay now the last column is for simply addition uh, okay okay rashid i will i will just fill it out okay so the last column is you have to fill it out between you have to just simply add this plus this which i circled in red okay now there is nothing no inversion it is simple addition or gate does simply addition that's it so one plus answer will be one one plus zero again one one plus one again one so wherever there is even if one input is one output will become one okay so this is all one 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 except the last column which is zero plus zero so here it will be zero for all other cases there is at least one present all the time so that's why your output will be always one except the last case which is here so that's how you make a truth table okay so i hope it is easy so you can break down the truth table ideally you are required to mention the input columns and the final output column 
okay but you can use the in between stages to make your uh, make your truth table easy okay you can add more columns for like i did for x dot y verse and t inverse you can add more columns so that you can easily fill out the final output column so i hope this exercise was useful and now you are able to start from a basic expression given to you a boolean expression from there you can develop a combination logic circuit from there you can develop a truth table okay and for this truth table to make this truth table you don't even need a circuit diagram you can develop this truth table only just by looking at the expression okay so even if circuit diagram is not there you can simply just looking at the expression you can develop truth table because you know that this dot function means multiplication which is done by and gate and if you see an inversion sign so you will replace it with a nand gate n a n d nand gate so similarly all other gates function if you remember you can easily develop a truth table all right guys so i will stop this recording here for those who want to listen it later on